What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record underwater footage using an underwater camera. The camera that I have that I'm going to be using for this demonstration is the Markham VS485C. And basically I'm just going to show you guys everything that I have that I use to record my underwater footage while I'm out on the ice. Or wherever you're using it, whatever the case may be. So the first thing you're going to need to be able to record underwater footage is you're going to need some sort of recording device. I bought this on Amazon. It's called a pile recorder. Um, I believe it was like $80, but it comes with all these cords here. Also, it comes with a remote. So you can hit, you know, record, stop, you know, take pictures, everything. It's pretty nice. Um, it does record in HD, so 1080p. Um, also, you have to buy separately. You've got to buy some sort of SD card. There's a lot of different things that you can use to record. Um, this is what I use. Really, you can Google capture devices, and they'll come up with a whole list of things that you can use. So that's the first thing you need. Second thing you need is some sort of battery to power this. Now, I went to Best Buy. What I did was I bought a pocket juice. All you really need is some sort of portable charging device. It doesn't have to be this exact one. This one I like because it's got two USB ports. Some have more, some have less. But I like it because I can charge my phone and record at the same time. You know, I can do multiple things. And the last thing you're going to need is your standard set of red, white, and yellow AV cables. Now, I just stole these off the back of my VCR. You can pretty much get them anywhere. All you need is the yellow cord. That's the only thing you're going to be using because we're not doing audio. This is just for video. So I'm going to go ahead and basically just show you guys exactly how I hook everything up and how I do this. So first things first, you want to take your camera here and you want to take your AV cables. One side of your AV cables, you want to take the yellow cord plug it into the yellow video port in the back here. Next, you want to take the other end of your yellow AV cables here and you're going to want to plug it into this end that plugs into the recorder. So now you basically already have your recorder hooked up to your camera. Now all you need to do is run a power source to your recorder. To do that, you need this. All I do is plug that in here, boom. We're powered up, we're running. I got my SD card in. So once you get to this point, once you did everything I just showed you, which is fairly simple, all you need to do, at least with my device, is I have a, a remote. I just hit the record button. Once I hit the record button, a red light comes on and I know I'm recording. Once you're done recording, you hit the record button again and it turns the red light turns off to let me know I'm not recording anymore. So the way to do this is very simple. There's really not much to it. You know, everything all together really doesn't cost that much. I mean, your portable charger, this was 30 bucks. You can get a cheaper one than that. And this recorder was $80 and it's the HD one, so you can get it cheaper than that even. So I mean, you can get you can record for around 100 bucks or less if you do it right. Then once you're done recording and you want to switch everything to the computer, obviously you guys know you just take your SD card out, plug it into the computer, boom, switch your files over, you're good to go. So if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to drop a comment, ask me, ask me anything, I'm going to answer it. If you guys enjoyed my video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. Stay tuned.